Graham Hill sponsors IFL TV. I am the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV and Association for MTK Global. We're in New York City. It's fight week. I'm joined by my man Joshua Bouatsi. How are you feeling, man? I'm blessed, man. Happy to be in New York City. First time here, but um, it's good, man. It's good. There's a lot of people here. Um, the anticipation is building up. You feel me? So um, it's, it's all good, man. It's all good. Madison Square Garden, historic venue. How do you feel about boxing here Saturday night? Has it been a dream of yours since a kid? I can't say that because I've never wanted to be a boxer from a kid. I've wanted to be a pilot and today I got on a plane to come here. <laughs> <You're loving. laughs> Real talk, I'm not even lying to you. I wanted to always be a pilot as a kid. Um, today I flew here and I said to the pilot, listen, you're doing my dream job, man. But that's on pause. That dream is on pause. The dream right now is to obviously be the champion of the world in my weight category, in whatever weight category I'm fighting in. Um, so listen, I'm looking forward to it, man. Boxing in MSG, um, I've watched a lot of... Um, What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of historic fights here and, and to have the honour to be boxing in this, um, um, this venue, well, I can't put it to description. It's the most famous sports arena in the world, so it doesn't really get bigger than that. Joshua, um, Paraban, been getting a bit of a stick this fight. Um, probably a compliment to you, uh, people saying it's a bit of a mismatch. Um, what do you make of Paraban? Is it a mismatch? Is it a mismatch? I, all I would say is those people writing the comments, let them get in the ring. It's easy to sit and to type away. Um, I haven't been going through these comments, I haven't seen them myself, but people always talk. Whether you're doing good or whether you're doing bad, people always talk. And um, Perryman as a fighter, again, he's got experience at world level. Um, that's kind of what I'm concentrating on. He's going to bring that to the table and it's for me to obviously work that out and to solve the puzzle. Josh, just want to pick up on a comment you made earlier uh, about boxing at different weight classes. Are you open to moving up to potentially cruiserweight one day or making super middle? Right now, it's light heavy, man. Um, I, can't, I can't talk about moving up. Possibly in the future, but right now, I want to win a title at this weight that I'm at. Um, if opportunity presents itself, whether it's lower or higher, I'll sit down with my team and we'll make a move. But as of now, I'm a light heavy, and that's kind of what I'm concentrating on. You had, obviously, a brilliant performance against Liam Conroy to win the British. Have you watched it back? Many times, yeah. I've watched it back many times, yeah. yeah. Um, good, good fight, lasted three rounds. Um, but I think I, I did what I had to do. Um, and credit to him, he, he boxed recently and I want to congratulate him, he got the win and um, he's looking to be back out, I think, either next month or the following month. So, listen, I wish him all the best, man. Yeah, I interviewed him after his fight, actually, and he said you're a freak of nature. Um, big, big sort of compliment to you. Yeah. And listen, and, and thank him, you know, he came out, he put up a good fight, he fell short that night and um, he bounced back like a true champion. Like I said, he won his last fight and he's back in the mix, so um, I wish him all the best. Josh, can I quickly get your thoughts on uh, the main event? Uh, your guy, Anthony Joshua, going up against Andy Ruiz Jr. Do you know much about Andy Ruiz? How much of a chance do you give? Obviously, you're going to be back in Anthony, though. Um, I'll, I'll be back in Josh to do the job. Do I know a lot about him? I can't really talk bad about him because he's next to me. <laughs> I didn't even clock, you know? Hey, listen, I don't talk bad about no one, but listen, he's a good fighter. For the, from, the, from the highlights that I've seen, he's got good hands. Um, he knows how to fight big opponents. Josh is going to be a, a big opponent for him. So um, it's going to be a competitive fight. But listen, I'm backing Josh to do the job. So um, there's not much to say in that. I haven't analysed him, so I can't really go in about it. But he's a good fighter, man. Josh, just the last one. I appreciate it is your fight week. But obviously, um, I know for a fact that Anthony Yard signed his part of the deal off and Kovalev have signed their part of the deal off. They're just waiting on the announcement. If it does happen on June 29th, a lot of people are picking Kovalev. How much of a chance do you give him at New Yard? He's got a chance, man. We can all punch at this weight. So he's got a chance. I'm sure they feel the timing is right for them. So hence why they signed their part of the deal. So he's got a chance. For me, it's boxing. You can't write off people at all. And um, listen, if he's going out there to fight him, I wish him nothing but the best. Go out there, do your thing, get a title. Happy days. Andre Ward doesn't have the skill set, and Yard, etc. Um, Anthony Yard's the best light everywhere in the world currently. What do you make of that comment? Do you know what's the man? Um, I don't really watch what he says at all. Um, a few of my boys will text me and be like, Rod, did you see what they said? Da, 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 da. And I'm like, I don't watch it because I'll never fight him. If a fight does happen at any point, it'll be myself and Yard. So what his coach says is totally relevant. I, I haven't watched it. I haven't sat down to watch it. 
and I probably wouldn't because it's, I'm not going to fight him. If Yard does an interview, yeah, I'll watch it to see what he's saying. If he mentions my name, if he talks, how he talks about me, but anything else, I, I'm not bothered what he says. Um, so I, I can't, I can't, again, I can't talk about it because I don't really watch it. Fair enough. Just the last one. Um, you're going to knock Paraban out this Saturday night. Are you looking to put a show? Because it is MSG and in the Joshua card, etc. New York. Listen, it's always on the line, man. The bell rings and uh, you got to do what you got to do. I'll be putting everything on the line. Joshua Watsi, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We will grab a word after the fight. Top man. Thank you. Nice one, man. Thank you. William Hill sponsors IFL TV. I am the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep.